From Studio 5 in New York City, this is the News at 6. All right, coming up next here for you tonight, using the arts to change lives of children in foster care. Isn't she a delight? It's a group called Culture for One, and we're going to show you their amazing work and speak to a live guest right after a short break on the News at 6. Keep it here. And we welcome you back to tonight's feature story. You know, life is different for kids in foster care, and their search for a family can often come at the cost of missed life experiences. Well, that's where Culture for One comes in, using the arts to enrich lives and broaden horizons. Let's start now with Audrey Puente, who shows us their work in action. Meet Niasia, an eight-year-old girl with a passion for singing. On this day, Niasia was given a private voice lesson through Culture for One, an organization that uses the arts to show New York City foster kids that there is a bigger world for them to discover, according to founder Lynn Tansman. We go to the ballet, Broadway shows, we go to museums, we visit you know, fashion companies. Along with excursions and workshops, Culture for One matches foster children with professionals who volunteer their time, like Nathan Carlisle from the Metropolitan Opera Chorus. As you go through life, you learn all these, all this information, and to be able to pass that on to someone, um, that's an incredible feeling. Carlisle credits role models in his life for helping him carve out his path to success. When I found out about Culture for One, it, I think it reignited those feelings of what that meant to me. And so, you know, to being able to do the same is, is really wonderful. Which Niasia truly appreciates. My favorite part that my, of my singing lessons is that I get to sing with Nathan. And, and also after the singing lessons, sometimes I get to go to the opera and see what it's like. Culture for One began back in 2010 and has served 6,000 children to date. This year alone, they will serve 2,100 of New York City's foster children. After living in five foster homes, Patricia Heaven took Niasia into her home when she was three years old and adopted her in 2015. She says Culture for One has had a good impact on her daughter. I think it has improved her focus and she lasers in on the things he tells her and how to breathe and how to phrase things. and. He challenges her mind to help her about the meter and the solfeggio and all of that. I think it's good for her. And has stimulated her aspirations. My dreams about singing is that I can, like I, like I can sing on stage or be a leader of singing. Reporting from the Upper East Side, Audrey Puente, Fox 5 News. Oh. Audrey, thank you very much. Naisha stole my heart. She is a sweetheart. I want you to meet Joan Hordick now, a philanthropist and Culture for One supporter. Wasn't she adorable? She was so adorable. Oh, man. I mean, so <laughs> sweet. And, and this is just one example of this wonderful program, bringing the arts to these children in foster care. It's a great program. You're very much involved. Very successful, isn't it? Oh, yes. Here, you saw an example of a scholarship program, mm -hmm. and you saw two people benefiting. You saw the, the volunteer, Nathan, yes. who gives his time, and you saw the child benefiting as well. And there's so much of that that goes on. I mean, by the way, there, there are nearly 10,000 children in foster care in New York City, and, and they need this kind of help and support. Absolutely. They have to get out of their foster care bubble. They have mm -hmm. to see that there are opportunities. They have to see that there are adults who want to spend time with them or are not paid to spend time mm -hmm. with them and the possibilities just open up for them when they get the exposure to the arts. And you called it the best of life, which is really nice yeah. for them to explore. Uh -huh. uh, there are so many different stories, I mean, educational programs, there are different ways to help them find work. Uh, but there was one story you told me before we were on the air uh, mm -hmm. about this photographer. Quickly okay. tell us that. So a young teenage girl yeah. was given a camera, but she didn't know how to use it. And through Culture for One, she was given an art scholarship to the International Center for Photography. Mm. What so beautiful about the story is not only did she get to be a very fine photographer and go for three semesters, mm -hmm. she was also exposed to other kids who had more opportunities that they were looking forward to. Nice. So she took SATs, she applied to college, she's now a junior, she's majoring in social work, she is minoring in photography. And this is the course that someone sure. can have just through culture. How for rewarding one. is that? You've got a lot of good uh -huh. feedback. By the way, this is a call for action too. You need some volunteers, you need some people to help out. We're going to put the website, there it is right 
right there, so culturefor1.org. Yeah, Tell us about that. If they go there, what can they learn? How okay. can they get involved? They can get involved so many ways. Um, for, they can work in the office if they feel they have office skills. They can always go on an excursion. Mm -hmm. They can work with the kids directly and other volunteers. They can introduce them to other arts opportunities. Money is not the worst thing to give as well. Yeah, yeah, okay, well, that always but, helps, but, but, but you need these but volunteers. You need, but we need these volunteers. We need people to remind the children that mm -hmm. indeed they are worth spending time with. We oh, need yes. them, them to mentor them. We need them to go and take them to a Broadway play mm -hmm. and then take them out to eat and show them how to read a menu and show them table manners and how love to it. look right at them the way we're looking at each other That's and shake it. hands. Culture for one, we love it very much. Joan Hornick, thanks for joining us. Come back Thank again. You.